Hey, hey, we are back at my parents' house. So this is a former coat closet turned pantry. My parents put these shelves in, I think like a year or two ago. So it was functional, but it just could obviously use a little TLC, a little bit of an upgrade and those doors, baby, those need to go. Yes. Because my parents have that mudroom with all of that space in it, I love the idea of this. It was very simple, something with a countertop. So my brother Juan drew this up. We initially were gonna do glass doors, but spoiler alert, we ended up not doing them. Glass is expensive. The first step in organizing a pantry is to remove everything from the pantry. One, it gives you a good idea for what you have, and two, it makes it a lot easier to clean off your shelves. Now these ones we are actually gonna be replacing because the wooden shelves are bowing, and as you see, they even have the original coat rack shelf up on top. So step one, get everything out of there. Oh, and say goodbye to those doors. You'll never see them again. Removing all old containers to be replaced with new containers. The shelves will be redesigned so that they fit these other containers that I just got from Walmart, from the Home Edits line at Walmart. So as you can see, there's quite a bit here, but we're gonna make these ones not nearly as deep so that it just has a little bit of space. These are gonna be our new depth for the containers here. The next step, of course, when working with food is to go through it and make sure that you don't have expired food. I mean, you know, I don't think that the best by date is like a hard rule or anything, but when it expired in 2019 and it's 2022, it might be time to let it go. You clearly don't want it. All right, this is what we have after getting all of the expired stuff out of here. We do still have the surface basically completely covered along with a couple of like random cans there and a few over here, and then this whole thing full of them, and a little bit over here, but it's not horrible. And this is what we took out that was expired, unfortunately. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening to this stuff. We'll see if, maybe you guys just whip this all into a big meal today. <laughs> One big expired meal. Take your probiotics beforehand. All right. Every shelf and every door and the whole trim, it's all gone. Why, well, I missed all the action today. So now that everything is removed, Solomon is patching uh, holes. I think a big holes. I'm gonna come with the mud pretty soon. It's gonna patch up all these big holes and then it will be repainted. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna paint it all white and then organize it up. And this angle is tricky, so I have some ideas for it. Stay tuned to see how that turns out. Sure, sir, she got me working on left and right. Sure, she wanted to do everything. And I told him, I said, you have an option. And he goes, what's that? I could get a real job. Oh, it's <laughs> like, you don't want that? So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, so I'll keep doing it. Then there, I don't want a real job either. I'll never want that. I'm no. sorry. Well, while Solomon does the work, we're going to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> such a small area I mean I think you can only do what you can do in here and the walls are exceptionally little little crooked always a little crooked if it's not the floors the ceiling if it's not the ceiling it's just every wall yeah level is gonna be your best friend when you're doing built-ins because you're constantly gonna encounter crooked walls ceiling floor etc so I really like this design I thought it was cool you know the idea of doing the shelving on that angle because this was never meant to technically be a pantry it was a closet and in a closet an angle like that might be a little annoying, but whatever. In a pantry, it's a really big waste of space in a lot of ways. So there was nothing we could do about the angle because that's actually the basement stairs. He was showing me here how crooked it was. But I think overall the design was perfect for this tight little space. And the drawers, mm, can't wait to show you what I put in there. These are the updates. There are officially shelves in here, which is great. There's also a top. It's a natural-ish color. It feels super, 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 super nice. That's one thing about anything Juan's making. It's gonna feel really nice. And then we got some lights put in. Uh, so we have two lights in here now. There were none previously. The room needs to be painted and stuff still, so we have that going, but we're on this little switch now. So that when they open it, if they need, they can have some lighting. And then I am just gonna start cleaning up. Juan has the doors coming today. 
Well, he was waiting on the hinges, but he made the doors himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuuming things out and then start the organizing process, which is my favorite process. Of course, cleaning up is vital during this process, but these drawers, I just wanna talk about them for a second. The bottom three are the same depth. As you can see, the top one is a little bit slimmer. Oftentimes in a pantry, you'll see them kind of notched out or you'll see them a little bit lower so that you can see what's inside of them. I didn't think that was really necessary here. This is not a large family home. It's just two adults, so I wanted to make it perfect for them. All right, we're gonna start, I'm gonna start organizing in here. I have to get a lay of the land first. So <laughs> there's three. I have these little containers from the home edit. I bought these ones individually. They do sell them um, individually or they sell them like in sets. I can do three across of the big ones. So I'm kind of trying to figure out because uh, Juan's gonna be working right here. So I just need to get a feel for like height wise what I can fit. So this is one of their taller items and I can fit that just fine. And I believe I can fit it just fine in the shelf above as well. I sure can. And then for their tall, tall stuff, like the cereal that I'm pretty sure you guys don't even eat that cereal. It's for the kids or something. Yes. That stuff doesn't need to be reachable all the time. And maybe if we have space, we'll do bulk items up there that are to refill the pantry. Yeah, last time you guys saw the pantry, it was beautiful, right? Now it looks like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be really nice again soon. I promise but <laughs> this is basically our storage area as things get done the kitchen is kind of a storage area for upstairs as things get done but one day we're gonna be back to looking good in here i still need to wipe these down because the vacuum didn't quite get all of it but in here i think we're gonna do can organization they have a lot of cans and i think i'm gonna do laying down can organization so i bought some stuff so that it your cans won't skid i don't have enough if that's what I plan on doing, but I didn't wanna go crazy buying it until I knew for sure this is what we're doing. So we're gonna play around with this area and see what I can make fit and what's gonna make the most sense. I'm thinking Lazy Susan's in the little shelves, but I'm not 100% sold on that yet. Well, I'll, I'll talk you through it once I'm done. All right, their groceries have no rhyme or reason, and since they're not my groceries, I have no idea what they have, so I'm just gonna start grouping like items together and all the cans together, and I think instead of just doing all the jars together, I'll do like all of the Asian kind of stuff. My mom makes a lot of Asian-inspired food, so she's got a lot of stuff that, you know, makes sense to put together, I think. That's gonna make more sense. They tend to buy a lot of the same food, but then she likes to get exotic with it too when we go to the little fancy stores. So we'll start by putting together what they already have and then maybe leave space for some growth. Bought this stuff off of Amazon. It's called a spice drawer liner. My parents have a lot of cans and we have um, a bunch of drawers that are not super deep. So I think they would work really well for the cans because they have so many. You guys remember that can organizer she had? But it's not gonna work if you sit a can in there like this. You're not gonna be able to see what the hell's in the can from only the top. So I bought spice drawer liners, which is just foam. It's just foam with grooves. And I think I'm gonna cut these to this length of it and then lay the cans on top of it so that when you open it, boom, you see the front of every single can. And if the drawers are full, stop buying canned food, you know? That's kind of what the message is gonna be basically until you eat some of your cans. Well, not the cans, but the food in the cans. All right, guys, today's gonna be the big reveal day and I'm working on organizing. Um, I'm down to just this little amount of stuff. This stuff is kind of tricky because it doesn't really have, you know, rhyme or reason. This little bit is where I become a little bit more flexible with my containers where you know, just kind of make it work. You're not always gonna have the exact same stuff. You're not always gonna buy the same stuff. Sometimes you're gonna buy some, you know, holiday stuff or whatever the heck, and you're gonna end up with a random assortment. That's okay. You just gotta kind of build that into your organizing. Not everything's gonna have the picture perfect home. This is real life, not HGTV girl. <laughs> it's YouTube. Let's take a look at where we started. We had these dated brown bifold doors and then we had shelving that definitely needed some help. It was overcrowded. They were far too large for the space and they were beginning to bow. These new doors look way better and they match the updated kitchen and mudroom. We made the shelving 
less deep. They're only about 11 inches deep now, so it doesn't feel like it's attacking you and jumping out of the room when you open the doors now. And then obviously on the bottom, the drawers make things look very sleek and clean while still being functional. I didn't want to overdo it with the containers because my parents are new to using containers. And if you try to micro organize everything, it can be a bigger mess than it is, you know, a help. I did minimal labeling only on things that they'll always have. The Lazy Susans are really great for displaying a lot of items without making them super deep. So this one has just kind of a random assortment that didn't have anywhere else to go. We have a little snack drawer for like the kids. My parents do have snack drawers in the kitchen as well. Don't worry, snacks on deck. I reserved the labeling for things that will always be in the pantry. And then in this top drawer, we could have gone with the wooden organizers, but I decided against it because I find them to be a little limiting. But check out these cans. Look, there is absolutely no shifting at all. I'm obsessed with these liners and it looks amazing and it fit all of their cans. Overall, I'm super proud of this project. I think it looks great and it's so functional for my parents. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Good yeah, my mom hasn't seen any of it. We didn't even make her do that. She was just anti the pantry right now. Yes, it's been covered in a shower curtain for like a month. It's all in there. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Give them potatoes. Aww. Those are your potatoes. That's it, that's just all we got, bro. How in the world did you guys make this into this? My God. <gasps> <laughs> pretty cool. And oh, you, you made all this? He made everything. I was wondering what she was doing with those things. Yes. I know. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of your can organizer, to be honest with you. Well, it didn't exactly work the best. Oh, look at Tommy. This is so cool. We got a lot of cans. Nuts. Crackers. Oh, our favorite stuff, Solomon. Lots of oysters. I didn't even know we had any oysters. They were so buried. And my soups. All of them fit. Yep. I had to eat one to do that. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I had to eat the shrimp one yesterday. Yeah. And I put the stuff down there that I felt like you weren't yeah. going to reach for right. as often. Right. The cans are... I, I, I love the potatoes, though. Yeah, yeah, I figured. This is awesome. And I put nothing on there so that you guys can use this for your vegetables and stuff like that in right. the summertime and all that. Well, that's so smart. That's why, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to leave it clear if you needed it. Yep, because they're supposed to be in like a dark space, cool mm -hmm. space. You do have room to grow in there. And it's your cereal is up there. Can yep. you reach that? And your coffee's actually behind. Oh, yeah, if I, I can, I ah, ah. if I can reach it, you guys can reach yeah. it because I'm shorter than both of you. You know what's crazy about it is that it doesn't look like it's like, um, I don't know how to say how it was before. Like I felt, you know what? It was coming the at you. Came, yeah, it was uh -huh. coming at you. Now there. I feel like actually like, even though these are not as deep, I feel like yes. there's more space to it. It's more, sh yeah, they're definitely. Yeah, like I feel like we don't have none now. I know, you feel like you have no food. Like, yes. We didn't go shopping. No, see, a very small amount of it got relocated to the cabinet by the stove. No, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's I, so weird. I got rid of very, very little food. Like the bright, so too. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. You got the new lights. This is so neat. You got your. And yeah, some of it will give you a little. The, the drawer Ooh. tries to keep you in, too. Just oh, like the it? doors. Yeah. <laughs> just the top one. Nice light. Mm -hmm. So, yesterday when I was doing my, my painting, I go? go, I go, it's not, I don't have enough light. I'm looking for a super lamp, lamp. <laughs> <laughs> and then my knee hits this thing. I go, holy cow, I got yeah. lights. <laughs> wow. Got your prayers, yes. your prayers answered right there. Yes. I know, it looks like you have no Everything food. Everything for our sushi. Yeah, it's all your Asian foods in there. One zero, kick your shelf. Yeah, those, your shelves are yeah. nice. A little better than the other That's ones. That's for our nuts and stuff up there. Or but the way he set it up, it was a hard time finding out studs, okay? Oh. So it wasn't just me. He but said there are no studs. I think there's one. <laughs> See, one this is stud. So, this is so much better than this. I mean, they're on the corners, That's obviously, but the yeah. there's only one in the sun. Wow, I guess because it's a closet, they didn't yeah. care as much. And then I couldn't it. imagine how the doors were going to be before. This is so cool. Yeah, they match everything yeah. else. Yep. You're, you get your new trim. They, yep. create, they create a nice vacuum when you open and close. Oh, yeah. If you try to open them at the same time. <laughs> try I feel it. Open them quickly. Right in the yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Whoosh. And then all the food flies at you. See, that's going to give it away, though, Salva. He's going to be like, woman, 
Where are you, what? what are you getting? Work. <laughs> this is something else. <laughs> something else. It's something else. It looks like you have no food. And you know what's nice too is I it, dig it. it's literally like there's no down there, let me, you know, be, yeah. you know. Like, I didn't want you to hide anything. Nope. How are those things attached to the drawers that are the rubber tape? How are they attached? Yep. They are simply attached with the weight of the can. Okay. Oh, you yep. get one can on there and it's going to stay. Yep. And okay. you always have that is a thousand cans, right? So this is a really easy way. I don't know if you noticed, this is just vegetables. Just to see it. Vegetables, soup yep. and tuna. Yep. This is all tomatoes, tomatoes chilies. and chilies. Yep. And then the bottom is like your pumpkin pie. And, and you know what's so your, funny? Your sweet is stuff. I use these the most. Yeah. You know, these, yep. these. Yeah, these, that's why I put them up high. Yep, up these high. are my most, and those, and are, those, and those are, are my least. Yep. Not, probably not, not, the, not broth. the chicken broth, but still. Oh, yep. I know, it looks like a lot less food. But it's, I. It's crazy. I was like, where'd my food go? That's the first, that was my half, first half thought. Half of it was when I opened it. cans. It was like, you recall that there was a lot of two liters in here. There were a lot of random things that wasn't food. You had yeah. bags of stuff. You had random stuff that it just wasn't food. It didn't need to be in there. I was like, Where, what, should, what should you do with my food? And then we'll check made, back. Then you made a comment the other day. You said something like, oh, there were supposed to be four shelves. Because I obviously, I didn't know what was going on. Oh, yeah. And well, then I, I feel like three. what he told me. Yeah. He was and I was like, goes, oh. you're like, so there's there's four. I want to get three. Well, they, I'm oh. like, yeah, I was like, three shelves? What the hell? I know. <laughs> I was like. I kind of thought that too, but uh, even. No, it was. No, it would have been yeah. No, 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 yeah. No, no, no. And like I said, any bulk stuff well, you end up with shelf. should go in there. Yeah, right. You know I mean? It's like a yeah. double a double wide. It's been so good. <laughs> I know it always feels I've so seen on nice. it and that's that strong. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I never ever in my wildest dreams thought and you're you know like I'd see you use it, I was like how much sense these things make to have containers for your food? I'm like, oh yeah. Why people want to put all their food in, but it makes so much sense. You just kind of keep it together. You mm -hmm. know what you got. Yeah, celebrate. This is great. It's all right. Well, Salma's Sal got drinks. Oh, you got drinks? <laughs> I guess that's the end of the video. You got a drink? <laughs> Our total for this project was a little over 3,000 because it was all completely custom made down to the trim, the doors, everything was custom and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget that our next one is gonna be decluttering the entire upstairs. It's almost 2,000 square feet of about 17 years worth of memories and it was a massive project but when I tell you guys that the before and afters are totally worth it, oh my gosh. Subscribe for more guys, bye.